I want to show you how to set up the soda can calorimeter and a few instructions. So notice instead of a cork with a uh, paper clip, metal, metal, not plastic paper clip, I have a glass watch glass. I've done this enough times that you want a nice surface. If you have something more like gauze that you can put it on, yes, there's going to be heat transfer, still going to be easier. Now, so what you're going to do to set it up is notice I have the can and I just put up the ring, all right? You take and thread a glass rod right through the ring. Now, before you get started, use the same amount. 50 milliliters of water is a good one to use in your calorimeter, okay? Because we need to know how much water you have. So first set up this soda can calorimeter. Okay? And then put, make sure you have your water in here. Have extra cans because these can slip off. It's another problem. If too much, there's too much weight, of course, it's going to snap. So have a few extra in case this snaps. Now, what you're going to do is take dry food. I have like oatmeal. I have those veggie sticks, crackers. Okay. You're going to need to get the initial mass going to get the initial mass of your food, okay? You're going to put it on here or some part on your glass and you're going to light it. Some foods light more easily than others. For instance, peanuts. Now notice though, I don't have peanuts. Peanuts offer a tremendous amount of number of calories, but they're going to burn forever. So here's what we're going to do. You're going to make sure you have the mass, okay? You're gonna put that, record it, you're gonna put that object on the glass, light it, but be sure to get the temperature of the water right before, okay? Light this and allow it to heat the water inside your calorimeter till it goes out, okay? Let everything cool. Then immediately when it goes out, take the temperature of your water. So you record the temperature in the water before and after in this soda can calorimeter. So, and you're gonna repeat it your mass afterward you're going to repeat it ideally you take a few trials of a dry food like crackers or these veggie sticks or oatmeal the different oats maybe a peanut maybe a cashew they're going to have a lot more and then we're going to follow the instructions for doing the calculations for calorimetry okay stop that 